so sorry. I know I shouldn't be smiling because this is an awful subject. Um, but, you know, take two and all that. We find ourselves where we find ourselves. Disclaimer, my thoughts and opinions. Just me. I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody else. I'm not giving anybody else. Like, it's literally my thoughts and opinions. And also, I swear. Now, I wasn't going to wade in. Like, with the whole Philip Schofield thing. I've just been sitting here and just watching from the sidelines. But he's come out now. Well, I know he came out a while ago, right? But he's come out now. He's broken his silence. That's one of the new... You know, like, with the McCanns and their fresh anguish. It's like everybody now, like, the media is just... Breaking their silence. So and so is broken their silence. In fact, the McCanns were in that as well. The McCanns have broken their silence, and it's like, no, the McCanns spokespeople have issued a statement. That's not them breaking their silence. They're keeping fucking storm. Just much like Philip Schofield, because they're all on the fucking same team, let's face it. I'm saying nothing, but it is my thoughts and opinions, and I'm not quoting anybody. It's just literally me. So this dude, right, was a raging bender, and he was married, he had his beard, right, because there is no way that you can be with a woman for that for, what, 27 years or something, they were together. She was his beard, that's what she was, she wasn't his wife. She was, she was his wife as well, but she was his beard, like Rock Hudson has a, had a beard, didn't he? You know, like, it's like, you know, like, yeah, I'll pretend that you're straight. You're fucking paying my bills, mate. I don't give two shits. I'll fucking have your kids for it. I don't give two shits, mate. I get to have my nails done. Check my hair. <laughs> Fairly good, is that? I don't fucking know. Hair done, check my nails. The other way round. She got her fucking nails done and her hair did and she'd fucking got her fucking holidays. She'd probably got several fucking Latin lovers coming round fucking mowing the grass. Like, literally, she was happy as a pig in shit. It just came crashing down because this young geezer that he was bumming, who apparently he met when this lad was ten years old. We watched on a video yesterday. 10 years old and it's like he met him at a theatre club and this that and the other and it's like then on then he got him the job Philip Schofield met him when he was a, 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 a little boy in a theatre group and gave him a job on TV and it, then it's like it came out that this 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 was happening and he's like mm, shit damage limitation let's tell the world i'm gay and everybody felt sorry for him because that's what we do because we are good people they are not and they are who fucking own philip schofield and philip schofield acts like he's been taught by them because they're all part of one big fucking steaming sick fucking debauched crew and uh yeah He's like, oh, oh, fuck, I'm going to get found out. Let's admit I'm gay. Everybody's like, oh, bless him. Oh, poor old Philip Schofield. Oh, all this year living a lie. Not always poor fucking wife, but his wife was in on it, so it don't matter. It's like, you think you can... Oh, anyway. And then, now, he's been dropped by his fucking record label, I wanted to say then. Been dropped by his product not product management they're like oh no sorry it's come out that you know like it's like no we've got to drop him he's come out now oh i'm sorry i lied to everybody i'm sorry i lied to everybody the dude lied to everybody and we were there oh when he speak when he admitted he was gay he was lying this is the takeaway we need from this. He was lying when he came out as gay. 
we, he'd always known he was gay. His wife had always fucking known he was gay. I would put fucking money on it. Do you know what I mean? And the people, you know, like Ruth Langsford put in a, a complaint against him, got sacked with Eamon Holmes, got sacked from this morning to keep him in. And literally now he's going to get thrown under the fucking bus. So he's going to see what happens to every fucker else, you know. Because he was perfectly happy to throw, is it Matthew McGreevy, I'm wanting to say, I don't know. I think his name is Matthew. He was perfectly happy to chuck Matthew under the bus. Maybe he was getting a little bit too old for him. And then it's like, oh, and it's a perfect fucking coincidence, isn't it, that his fucking brother has just been fucking knocked up, locked up for fucking, well, apparently, again, it's like, again, it's like his brother said, oh, yes, well, me and this young lad, we just sat on separate chairs at the opposite end of the room and masturbated at the same time over porn fuck off and he told philip schofield that he told him that and philip schofield was like well just don't do it again then that's his advice just don't do it again then and then it all comes out of the court of law and then philip schofield's like i no longer have a brother it's like no that the time that he's told you why is he telling you that? Apparently, you know, like, how close is your relationship that you can talk about fucking about with teenage boys? And the other ones are not reported. Like, fuck off. This is all a massive bag of bollocks. The whole of the entertainment, not the whole, but massive swathes of the inter entertainment industry is fucking it's run and facilitated by fucking nonces pedos and boy buggerers and uh yeah going back to the old uh matriarchy mate i've got you fucking in all sides so fuck you philip schofield fuck you everybody who is fucking stood behind him and beside him because he won't be the only person taken down by the bus. And I bet right now, shitloads of people are sweating their fucking nuts off. And that makes me happy. Please continue to com the conversation in the comments below. Add me on my socials. And uh, let's get talking about this. Because these bastards who have raised people like Philip Schofield in their image need taking down and our kids need protecting who's with me i love you all bye